Hi, I'm George, TSG's Open Content Product Manager. In this short demo, I'm going to compare how the folder components in the Alfresco Developer Framework, or ADF, compare to the Open Content Management Suite. So here I am in uh, what's called the Demo Shell application. And it's important to note that ADF is really a developer framework, not an application. So you really can build whatever you want. And this Demo Shell application is put out by Alfresco um, really to just kind of show off what ADF can do. And it's more of a developer resource versus you know, a finished production application. So I'm gonna go ahead here and just log into the Demo Shell application. And we're going to focus on this content services tab, which shows this component uh, to display a folder. And um, in this example, it's just going to my home folder. You would, of course, build something different to go to folders that users you know, would need to use uh, for their particular use case. Um, but in this case, it gives us a good idea of what the folder component can do. Um, as you would expect, it displays uh, subfolders as well as documents in the folder. There's some actions here along the top right. Um, really these two by default here are showing uh, folder actions. Like here I can change to more of a card view and there's an option down here to enable thumbnails if I wanna do that. Um, or I can just stay back in this uh, uh, more list view, table view here. And then this action is for creating a subfolder. And the rest of these actions are really document based. So, you know, I can select this document and then download or delete it if I have permissions, star it. Um, but documents also can have right click actions. So I can right click and then, you know, view the properties, which we actually took a look at in the last video of this series. Um, and these doc actions can also be. Um, can you can get to them from this sort of three dot menu here as well. Now the columns that are displayed here are really up to the developer of the application. So out of the box, uh, Alfresco is showing some columns here like created by and created in the name. Um, but as a developer of the application, you can include whatever uh, attributes you want. Um, and all of these by default or are uh, sorted just by clicking on the column, which is a, a nice feature. However, um, out of the box, there's no way to allow the user to change the order of these columns or to show or hide columns, uh, which are definitely possible in the OCMS, which we'll take a look at in a little bit later. Another feature that uh, we see users really like is the ability to filter this table. Um, and that's really not present here. So um, I have no ability to filter down this list. Um, this is obviously just showing a few documents in this folder, but if I had a folder with, you know, say 50 or 100 documents, having some sort of filter capability would be nice here. So now if I want to view a document, um, as we saw before, just clicking on it will do a single select. Um, and there's also down here, I didn't show this, but you can uh, choose to allow checkboxes. So the user can select a single doc or multiple documents. Um, but either way, selecting a row will just select the document. So to actually view the document, I need to double click and then that will open up the document um, kind of taking over the whole screen, um, which is good because I can preview more of the document at once. But if I want to view many documents sort of in succession, I can view the document, but then to view the next document, I have to exit out of here and then allow this to load and then click on the next document. So now we're going to switch over to the Open Content Management Suite. And I've started here in the search um, just because um, instead of showing a full repository browser, we really focus more on metadata search for accessing folders. Um, so here's just an example in the insurance world. I'm looking for a policy folder. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and search by policy number. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just look at this policy folder and then this launches it into our open content case interface, which is a uh, kind of a configurable case management interface for working with documents and folders. So I'm in this case folder and I can quickly see the documents within the folder. Um, actions on the folder, um, on the case folder, as well as a categorized way to look at documents within the folder. And then importantly, which we'll talk about a little bit later, is related cases down below here. 
So up here, uh, one thing to point out is we can configure a set of attributes to display right away up here in this info module. Um, so this is very helpful for when you're viewing a case folder to sort of pick out uh, three to five properties to display quickly to the user that are pertinent to this case. And then usually over here on the right, uh, clients decide to display this view all documents container um, as the first uh, view that users see, which lists out the documents. And this has a lot of the features that I was talking about before. So not only can I sort on columns, but my user can reorder the columns very easily. Uh, and this will save my preferences based on uh, how I want to set this table up, even down to the size of the column. So the next time I come in, it will remember this. And I can also choose other columns that might be uh, you know, important to me. So maybe the policy holder, or maybe the created date is important to me. I can uh, rearrange these how, how I like it, and the system will remember. There's also very nice filtering capabilities here. So again, this is a very uh, small case as far as number of documents, um, but you can imagine on a larger case being able to just start typing and have it filter down uh, is a very nice feature. Uh, this works as we see here on the name, but it can also work uh, based on the uh, tags or any other uh, visible column in the table. The administrator can also set up uh, predefined filters. So here I can just select from, you know, maybe I want to see con contracts and correspondence, and it'll filter down this list based on what I've checked here. Now, taking another look at the actions that are available here on the case, um, we can go into a little more detail here. We have the ability to add documents, and we can have lots of different options for how to get documents into the folder. Um, we also have the concept of folder notes, so being able to add uh, notes to this case folder as well as um, automatically uh, taking notes. So when documents get deleted or added, we can add notes to the folder, as well as, as, well as sending email directly from the case folder. Uh, is a popular feature that our clients like. But specific to documents, we definitely have some actions that are uh, very useful in a case management scenario, such as being able to uh, take multiple documents and combine them into one. So here I can choose Combine PDF, which will allow me to order these documents and even select certain pages from the documents and generate a combined PDF. Um, or I have the ability to uh, bulk property edit documents in this folder. So, um, you know, this we can configure the form, but if I wanted to bulk change, say, the status on all of these documents at once, I could do that very easily. Now, in viewing documents here, um, I can go ahead and just click this link and it will view the document. By default, we view in Open Annotate over here on the left, um, but we leave the result set for the documents, other documents in the case. So rather than having it take over the whole screen, I can um, quickly just kind of flip through and change the document that I'm looking at. And if I wanted to, uh, there's an option here. If I wanted to get a better view of this document, I can click this and it will launch the entire document in its own pane. So jumping back again over to the case, um, I wanted to take a closer look at this related objects section. Um, this allows us to configure other related cases or other folders or documents that the user might care about. So in this case, you know, I'm looking at a, full, a policy, policy folder, and maybe I'm looking at the uh, contract and I want to see other uh, or see claims that have been opened against this uh, policy. So rather than needing to go back to search and run a search for, for claims for this policy number, we can immediately surface this content to the user in a smart sort of manner. So here I can see that there is a related claim and there's a re uh, report on it. And I can actually open this in a dual pane view so that I can look at this loss report uh, that's in a separate claim folder along with my contract in the policy folder, uh, all without losing context here. I, I'm viewing these two documents, but I haven't lost my context of, um, of being in this policy folder. Well, that's it for this comparison video. Be sure to check out our blog and website for more information, and thanks for watching.